smoking alone. It's a lot different than smoking with a group because well, you're alone. So it's exclusively your job to explore those high thoughts and piece together fun activities to enjoy the high. And if all goes well, you'll have a blast scrolling shorts, playing games, watching movies, pondering the scale of the universe and how nothing actually matters. It's great! But it comes with a catch. You see, when you're with a group of friends, it's much easier to stay on subject and destroy the evil thoughts the grass might curse you with. So, in my experience, when I'm getting high alone, I usually smoke a bit less just cause being super mega high is 99% of the time best enjoyed with a group and not by yourself. Unfortunately, when I was a youngster, I hadn't discovered this. In fact, I accidentally got the highest I'd ever been up until that point. And the demons I faced that night made me who I am to Day. The story begins with a high schooler CBD bro who had planned a great adventure with the main homie Salamander and Ricky. Well, not a great adventure per se, we were gonna go to Salamander's place on Friday night and get absolutely obliterated off that Zaza. And for that, I had secured a whole gram of that exotic the Friday before, and although very tough, I fought the urge to blaze for a whole week, just so we could demolish it all together in one night. And if you watch some of my older videos, you know Salamander had a bit of a funky home situation, so a lot of times his house was completely free, and this was supposed to be the case on this beautiful night as well, so you know your boy was excited as an 8 year old on Christmas for this upcoming Friday night high extravaganza. But it all came crashing down when Salamander texted me, Hey yo, my parents came home tonight and well, they found my bong, so I'm basically in the gulag now, so no smoke sesh tonight, nor probably the next night, nor, well, until they leave again. See you once I serve my time. L O L. A true tragedy. Our plans have been foiled by none other than Salamander's stinky old bong, which would have never happened if instead of his stinky B O N G, he had a Glebe. And if you don't already know, the Glebe is a discreet portable gravity bong that looks just like a water bottle. And the best part is, this thing will get you higher than you've ever been in your life, bro. Just put the same amount of Zion as you would usually and be prepared. Cause after hitting it, I usually feel like I'm in a damn Scooby Doo mystery, bro. So if you want the ultimate discreet on the go Zaza machine, click the link in the pinned comment and use code ITSCBDBRO for 15% off your purchase. But I think you guys can see where this story is going. I had a whole gram of that fine exotic grass and I've been holding myself back for a whole week in anticipation for the now cancelled high extravaganza. So here I was, standing in my shitty little dorm filled with sorrow, I decided, uh, screw it, I'ma just smoke alone. So I put my level 99 J rolling skills to use, and after about 15 minutes of fumbling the spliff, I had done it. I rolled a J that was intended for free people, and headed outside to smoke it all by myself. After heading out, I went to my favorite park bench that was just outside the dormitory territory and started chipping away at the abomination I created. One puff, two puffs, three puffs, <coughs> I was faded than a hoe but nowhere near the fadedness I had been awaiting for. I continued puffing away until I reached a halfway point and my mouth became drier than the Sahara Desert bro. So I took a little break to try to figure out how high I truly was. As I stared into nothingness for a good minute, I felt my first person camera slowly pull away into third person like I was in GTA 5 or something. And I have no shame in saying, I didn't smoke the whole thing, cause I was starting to get a bit paranoid, so I took my half smoked 1G spliff and headed back to my dorm. And bro, you know those creepy pictures that are creepy because they look familiar, like it's just a normal pic, but then you really look at them and realize they ain't normal? Yeah, well, that's how I felt when I walked through the hallway leading to my room. But anyway, once I got to my room, I was still feeling paranoid. Like, it was weird because I had never felt that way before from Za, and I think that's just because when you get high with others, you're kind of comforted by the fact that you're not alone in the feeling of being absolutely smacked out of your mind. Thankfully, I did find some comfort in my favorite platform. YouTube. So I started watching some good vibey videos and slowly snapped out of my paranoid state, but was instantly greeted with a new problem. An uncontrollable sensation that if not satisfied will drive you right back to where you started. I'm talking of course about 
the munchies. So I gathered my strength and started walking to the closest store. And once I arrived, well, I ain't even gonna lie, my wallet was at the mercy of the za bro. So basically, every food item I saw, my brain went, Bro, see those Twinkies? That shit looks bussin'. Yeah, I know, but it's $4 and I already got like $25 worth of stuff in my car. Nah, 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 bruh. Screw all that. You buy this fucking bag of Twinkies or I'm giving you a panic attack right here, right now, bro. <laughs> okay, I'll buy the Twinkies. Yeah, of course you will. Well, while you're at it, take that cheese sauce for the nachos too. <laughs> Okay, I will. After my brain finished ganking the shit out of my wallet, I went back to my room and started demolishing everything I bought. And after that whole munch sesh, I was feeling a lot less high too. But also, my stomach was a bit upset, so I took a massive dump, laid down on my bed, and started scrolling shorts. And I scrolled and scrolled until I passed out without even brushing my teeth and stealing my clothes. So you can imagine the next day, I had a bit of a cush hangover, feeling like Shrek haziness and overall being slower mentally, but hey, no regrets, cause my brain wasn't lying about those Twinkies, god damn.